I'm back. It has been a long time. Um, Off-season hiatus is over. Um, and we're only two days away from the start of Overwatch League season number four. Crazy. Um, I won't get into it, but it was a very... It was a very interesting off-season for me, um, and I just didn't really get around um, to, to posting anything. Like I said, there was a lot of um, stuff going on, but we're back, and we're ready for the next season. I think this is going to be a great season. Um, season 3 was very much so a scramble. Um, you know, for the production team and for the entire Overwatch League because they had they had invested so much in uh, making it, you know, this live experience with the uh, with all the homesteads and obviously COVID just really really put that in a in a big arm bar and was like, no, that's not happening. So now season four, they've they for the most part they're tailoring it, you know, to online play. So I think that the you know the production quality and a lot of the other things about it are going to be a lot better. So in this video, just going to be kind of summing up the format this season. Um, my thoughts about the uh, like the talent, um, showing you guys if you haven't heard, you know, who is going to be casting this year, who's on the desk, all that stuff, and taking a really quick look at this new system of power rankings that they've employed. So. Hope you guys are excited for the videos. Again, sorry I've been away. Um, thanks for sticking around, and let's get into it. So, this season, relatively similar to last um, in terms of the format. You know, we've got our two different uh, divisions, um, but they're changing them up. As you can see, we've got uh, the West, you know, which was NA last time, which is all the same teams except the London Spitfire have been added over. Um, and then in the east, they've added a couple of teams, as you can see in the Philadelphia Fusion, and then LA Valiant, um, you know, to, to match up with all the other teams that were in that Asia region last year. So, I think it's good that it's a little more even, you know, the 12 to 8 split, um, you know, last year was kind of awkward with the 13 and 7, um, it felt kind of strange, um, but as you can see, you know, all of the NA teams and the EU teams are all together, and then all of the teams in China slash Korea, and then Philly and uh, Valiant are thrown in there. But of course, you know Philly and Valiant have moved, you know, their teams and facilities to um, to Asia. I won't get into the whole Valiant debacle right now, but um, safe to say I'm not a fan of that organization, like most of you out there. Um, maybe we'll make a video about that specifically in a bit if people haven't heard about it. So. Like I said, they're gonna. It's gonna be somewhat similar to last year. Um, you know, if we read the little, um, the little format right here, um, they have the the tournament cycles. Four of them. You know, May Melee, June. They change it to June Joust, uh, Summer Showdown, and then Countdown Cup. Um, so I, you know, I think this was a good format last time, and especially for the online, you know, it works for them. Um, and then, obviously, you know, after the qualifier matches and um, all of the, you know, all of the seeds are laid out, then we go into tournament play. You know, total of 24 weeks, as you can see right there. So, I think we're going to have a good season. You know, it's the second league. It's also the second year that the league is on YouTube uh, rather than Twitch. Um, and I, you know, personally, I thought that it really hit its stride in season two. Um, you know, there were still some issues in season one, um, but they really kind of figured out Twitch, you know, the platform, you know, with the, with the Overwatch League viewer and all that stuff, it made it really awesome. You know, I was able to, um, do some really fun breakdowns, you know, and, and analysis, analyses of the match, um, of the, of all the different matches, you know, post, um, so hopefully YouTube, it will be a similar jump. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people are not thrilled about the switch. I wasn't either. I, you know, I would have preferred they stayed on Twitch, but, um, you know, with the second full se second full season on YouTube now, I think they're going to have, like I said, much higher production quality. Um, you know, I talked about there's going to be, um, like, literally the quality of the video, you know, is going to be a lot better um, this year. And they're just going to add a whole bunch of features, hopefully, that make it um, a bit more enjoyable. You know, maybe see if we can get those, um, the view counts up. Because, like I said, I think this... Season 3 was a little bit rough in certain aspects. Um, hopefully this will be a bounce back year. Um, so in terms of the talent, um, so I, I'm happy. I'm happy with all of this. Um, we'll switch over to the Overwatch League Twitter um, where they posted this um, a couple days ago. 
As you can see, the desk is made of um, last year's with Soey, Custa, and Reinforce. I thought that they were a very nice desk, um, you know, good chemistry, all of that. Um, and they're adding Danny, um, you know, who, as people who have followed the league know, was a translator for a bit, um, first couple of seasons. So I'm excited to have him on the desk. You know, he has a very, um, he has a very fun personality. So. I can see this desk um, gelling pretty easily, you know, obviously have some cohesion from their work previously. So, again, I'm happy with that desk. Um, I think one of the big things, you know, one of the big knocks against Overwatch League and esports in general is how much, um, you know, how much rotation there is between uh, players and casters and, um, you know, just like the, the talent uh, analysts all together. So I think it's good that they're, you know, they're keeping pretty much uh, everything together there. So should be a good season um, for the desk. And then in terms of casters, we've got a couple of the same um, matchups and then a couple that are different that I'm quite excited about. So as you can see, we've got the the standard since season one, the only season one um, cast, you know, casting pair together, Uber and Mr. X. So they've been my favorite since season one. Um, I really like the, how they synergize, you know, Uber's uh, rap god moments that are, you know, that are so famous. Um, and Mr. X has really, really good insight and um, analysis. So it's awesome to see that they're back. You know, if the if they left, it would be I think it would be a massive blow. Uh, we also have the comedic British duo of Bren and Sideshow coming back, which is awesome. They're another one where you know they have their own fandoms themselves. So it's great to see them back. You know, obviously they were on the desk for seasons uh, one slash two. Then last season they switched over to casting, and I thought that they really nailed it. Uh, you know, even when they go off on these really weird tangents, um, and, you know, and I even talking about the matches, I always found them enjoyable. Um, you know, it's a nice little change of pace. So really excited to see them back again as well. And then we have ZP, who made his Overwatch League debut last year. You know, he's been in the Overwatch League or been in the Overwatch scene forever. Um, he is going to be casting along with returning now as an analyst, as opposed to you know the, the more play-by-play -play guy, uh, Doa. Um, for those of you who remember from seasons one and two, um, he was partnered up with Monte Cristo, who was um, you know a very <laughs> A very divisive um, personality in itself, but um, I always really liked Doa, and you know he was a fan favorite. So really excited to see him and ZP how they kind of meld together. Uh, both of these guys were more play-by-play, -play, um, so I'm kind of fascinated to see how that plays out. Uh, but like I said, you know two guys who have been around the scene for a long time, a um, couple of fan favorites. So they're they're definitely a new uh, pair that I'm excited to see. So. We also have Achilleos coming back. Uh, he made his debut last year. Um, he has a new partner this year. Uh, Wolf has moved on. Um, but he is with Avril, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, so he's been in the contender scene for a bit. Um, I've seen a couple of a couple of his matches. Um, I think they're going to be a good pair as well. Um, I think Achilleos is an underrated play-by-play um, -play guy. You know, he really he really gets you the information you need and isn't super confusing about it. So another new combo that is going to be interesting to watch. Um, like I said, I don't have the most information um, on Avril, but I think I think it'll be a good one as well. And then another returning play-by-play uh, -play in Jaws with a new partner in Vicky Kitty. So Vicky Kitty's been around contenders for a while. Um, you know, I remember watching a good amount of her... Um, uh, like matches, you know, obviously, you know, off season of OWL, you gotta watch something, so you gotta check out contenders. Um, you know, they really do a good job over there as well. So Jaws and Vicky Kitty, I think that'll be a great combo. Um, you know, first, um, they'll, you know, they'll be the first female in in an actual casting uh, pair. So I think that that's dope. Um, you know, there's a couple other ones. You know, Lemon Kiwi as well. Um, is still in contenders, so. I think it's great. You know, we get some fresh faces. We also get a couple of returning pairs. So I think it's going to be a good mix. You know, obviously, um, if you turn into any, you know, tune into any uh, contenders or Overwatch League cast, you're going to, you know, there's going to be people that, oh, you know, I love this pair. And then the other, like, oh, worst pair ever, you know. So I'm sure we'll get a bunch of that. But, you know, all of these people have been around the scene for a while. You know, they're all super passionate about it. They're, you know, they've, they're good at their jobs. So... I'm excited to see this. Um, like I said, couple returning favorites, 
paired with some up and comers. You know, I think it's great to see um, people that have been in the scene for a long time and haven't had their chance at this highest level yet um, to make you know to make their way up and get their shot. You know, I think that's awesome. So that is going to be the talent for this season. Like I said, I'm excited. I think this is going to be a, almost a little bit of like a reboot of the um, of the entire league. So hopefully, you know, I know Overwatch as a game is, um, you know, the player base has dropped off quite a bit, you know, and we're at a very stagnant point. But, um, you know, I, I hardly ever play Overwatch. Like, I barely ever play it. Um, you know, and I have, I have like, Equal to on all my accounts, you know, I, I have a diamond, I have a di you know diamond profile. If I added up all my levels, so I play the game a bunch. Not really interested in playing it too much anymore. Um, you know, if I'm if I'm just playing solo, it's just not that enjoyable. But I'm still super super excited for Overwatch League. You know, loved it since season one. So hopefully we get a great season. Um, I've kind of rambled a bit, so I'm going to cut it off here. We're not going to go into power rankings quite yet um look for that tomorrow um i'll make like a whole video about it because they're doing um a different style with it that you know powered by um computers almost almost think similar to um college football where they used to have the bcs um or you know the the computers will like give the teams a rating based on you know obviously if they won or lost and then by how much um and with, you know, with a bunch of different formulas and numbers. So we'll dive into that next time. Again, great to be back. Um, thank you guys, like I said, for sticking around. You know, I've been, no, it's been a very long hiatus. Um, but I am fully back for season four. Um, you know, going to be doing predictions every week. Um, you know, power ranking breakdowns. Hopefully some VOD reviews. Um, last year was just rough with, you know, the, the amount of information like that I was given. And, you know, the amount of... Um, the amount I could work with the videos themselves. So hopefully um, we'll be able to figure out a little, a little bit something more for this year and we make it another great season of Overwatch League. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you got any thoughts about the new um, format or any of the new casters, um, you know, the desk, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know other videos you might want me to do um, around Overwatch League or anything else related. Um, and again, thanks for watching. Oh man, it's been a while. It is, it's weird. It's weird to do this again, but it feels good. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Look for the next video coming out tomorrow, as well as predictions coming out soon as well. And I'll see you in the next one.